we're here at Canine Caviar and we are with Jeff Baker. Jeff, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, hi, thank you for having us today. Uh, we're doing a little video for our partners over in Europe. Um, Canine Caviar, we're the first and only alkaline based pet food in the world. Uh, our diets are based on 130 years of research and uh, two guys who actually won a Nobel Prize for it. Uh, people always want to know why or how we got into the into the business. Uh, well, I was a pharmaceutical researcher in Germany uh, in the mid 90s and uh, we created a uh, flea medication uh, for Bayer and I had a great Dane who would go to anaphylactic shock if he was bitten by a bee or an ant or a spider and we through the uh, development of the uh, flea medication we used uh, my great Dane as a guinea pig and realized that he wasn't allergic to those flea med or to the to the uh, venom from the bee the ant or the spider but he was allergic to the chemical reaction of the food at the time. So we actually formulated some food for him while I was working at the pharmaceutical company in Germany. Mm -hmm. And um, long story short, uh, the company in Germany sold to an Italian firm. Uh, the Italians wouldn't give me a visa and the Germans gave me 30 days to leave the country basically. So uh, came back to the United States and uh, Gary and I, we started the company at the, at the urging of my mother. That is awesome. So is your dog what um, made you have a passion for animal nutrition? Uh, for an Well, I mean, I had my, my background was in pharmacology and nutrition for humans, but uh, at, the, at the, the company we did some research for pets, and at the end of the day, yeah, I guess, well, I guess that was the reality, right? I mean, our own great Dane lived to be 17 years old, so he is the oldest living male in the history of the breed. Wow, that is crazy, and that is awesome. Um, so now, now that you have canine caviar and you guys have really taken off, um, what formulas do you guys have in your line of food? Yeah, so we have our classic ones that we started off with, uh, chicken base, lamb base, and those use pro millet. Um, all of our diets are single protein, single complex carbohydrate, as they would eat in the wild or a wolf. Um, you know, some people say, well, why do you feed like a wolf? Well, because even though the dogs have been domesticated, there's been less than 1% change in their body. So they really should eat like a wolf, single protein, single complex carbohydrate. Every time that we ingest a protein or a carbohydrate, we have to develop a different enzyme for it. So mm -hmm. if we have multiple carbohydrates and multiple proteins, then our body has to develop too many enzymes. And as a human, it's okay, but for pets, they have a very short digestive system. So right. if we have too many proteins and too many carbohydrates, it's, it's toxing on, or taxing on their, on their internal organs over time. Okay. So. so single protein and single complex carbohydrate is kind of the base of your guys' formula. I know you guys are the first and only alkaline-based dog food. Um, what are some of the benefits of being an alkaline-based dog food? Yeah, so the benefits of being an alkaline-based dog food is we're putting, the first the number one benefit is we're incrementally putting incrementally more oxygen into the blood, mm -hmm. right? So by doing this, we're allowing the blood to flow more freely and clear the impurities from the body much more efficiently. Okay. Uh, secondly, what we're doing is uh, lowering the anaerobic activity, right? And this is where this anti-aging comes in because by lowering the anaerobic activity, we're minimizing collagen loss, right? And so collagen loss, we know, is the formation of wrinkles as we get older. So we see it on the outside of our body, but the same thing is happening on the inside. So by having living and uh, feeding and, and eating alkalizing ingredients or living an alkaline lifestyle, we're minimizing that collagen loss as they get older. And because of an, of an alkaline lifestyle, we're, we're, we're allowing those internal organs to rehabilitate much faster and allow the DNA self-recovery mechanism to function efficiently. Awesome. Um, so I know a little bit about canine caviar, but I know that all the formulas are at a 7.0 to a 7.5. Uh, yeah, on most of our diets are 7.1 to 7.4, and people will always ask, well, why do we do 7.1 to 7.4? And the reason that we do that is because that's what the natural body needs to be. So if we test our blood, our blood is 7.1 to 7.125, mm -hmm. and it is the most important function in our body. So if our, if our blood doesn't maintain that pH, then obviously we cease to exist. So what we're doing is we're maintaining a, an organ uh, or a, a, a body health of 7.1 to 7.4 to help maintain that blood pH. And studies have shown that if we are constantly eating acidic diets, which we are, uh, the number one thing prescribed by veterinarians is pepsid, which is antacid. So our dogs are just as acidic as we are as humans. And so what happens is over the period of long period of time, uh, you have uh, pancreatic cancer, kidney failure, liver damage, right? Mm -hmm. And so by feeding or living an alkaline lifestyle, you're minimizing that risk for that happening. Okay, so you'd say the long-term benefits of canine caviar are what for the dog? Uh, well, you're giving him a better chance for survival and a better chance of, of not having to go to the veterinarian so often as he's getting older, other than for his routine checkups, um, but mostly to maintain that, that optimal health and to minimize your expenses as a consumer. 
That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jeff Baker, for explaining a little bit about us um, and canine caviar and some of the formulas and we appreciate it. Perfect. Thank you guys. Have a great day.